When I tell people that Santa Barbara and the Channel Islands used to be down by San Diego, they just think I'm crazy. They say, what? <laughs> so we're looking here at the four northern Channel Islands. There's San Miguel, Santa Rosa, Santa Cruz, and Anacapa. So these four islands are all in a line, and they're lined up with the coast over there. That's the Santa Monica Mountains. That's all one big east-west line of peaks. These transverse ranges are unique. They're the only ones in the whole coast of North America. They didn't start that way. They used to be parallel to the coast like all the other mountain ranges, but there's a very good reason for them. Namely, that they used to be down by San Diego, and they were completely turned around, 110 degrees. Well, there was this idea of continental drift in the world for a long time, but we just didn't know how it worked. But when I started graduate school, they figured it out, that all the continents are really embedded in these big old plates that are going across the face of the Earth. Just by looking at the history of the formation of the Pacific Plate, we could see when it began to rub against North America and pull off the pieces, set up the San Andreas. That's what I worked out. With just the right tools, I love geometry. I'm horrible at lots of things, but I love geometric relationships, and that's just what plate tectonics was. This is how it looked 18 million years ago. The islands here were right off of San Diego. So then coming forward in time, there's 18, 12, 6 million years to the present. So now the islands are way up here and San Diego's way down there. Just got pulled away and turned around. I just love these islands because they're so unique besides being beautiful.